Hello my lovely Virgo, welcome to this reading. It's Mia here and we're going to have a look what kind of energies are surrounding February 2023 for you my lovelies. I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. So take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. How are you doing by the way? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind to subscribe which is free absolutely free and of course like and comment as well Alrighty, it's going to be a good month i have feeling that it's going to be good indeed right virgo beginning middle and end of the month it is indeed okay okay table eight ten of swords and the high priestess here wow capricorn here hello and what we have in the middle, so I love, it's like Tori's, Tori, no, not the Tori, not the labor, storytelling. It is like storytelling. And either side we have this, ooh, gosh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you there. This is big, this is really, really big, just listen up. I'm going to tell you as I feel it and as I see it. It feels like there is a fight happening between the light and dark and I have it to say this there's a big you are going through some challenge you are going through some challenge that requires the utmost higher energy attitude vibration and sometimes what I'm going to say is my sound like double dutch or not making sense or too much metaphoric kind of talk once you vibrate in lower energy, you attract that. You attract lower energy people. You can you can resonate with them and it makes you lower and lower and lower. And then something happens and you get detached from it. Either this is an event that takes place or something happening in your life. Or you just start to distance from some either from people or situation. Even could be a place. And then you find yourself reading some book, re listening some quotes, whatever that is, music, and you kind of little by little bit distance yourself from that mindset. You start to listen maybe different radio, different music, and that creates high vibrations, okay? And then you have higher vibrations up here. You can still st see what's going down there, but it doesn't affect you as much. And you start to be aware of that the importance of the higher of vibration and you want to stay there for longer you probably want to read news less you want to probably want to watch television less or very selective of what you're watching and you want to be become more selective of what kind of information is feeding your soul and mind and probably your body as well and that's what is happening here and it's a fight that is going on. And who is going to win? You do not give in to something that is dragging you down. Either this is habits. Either drinking, drugs. I'm not judging. As this is a bad negative thinking habit. Because the thinking, what we think, is a habit. 90% nearly what we think is the same or same or thought. Or there could be a relationship that is dragging you down. Relationship that you think it's important or you don't know how to get out of it. Hence we have the high priestess, other side. It's very, it's very, I'm going to say as it is, it's very important that you make the right decision. That you feed yourself with that right food for the soul. You know, like the chicken soup for the soul. Maybe that's a book maybe you want to read. Maybe that's a book that you need to read. But it's a darkest between this before the dawn. It's the darkest before the dawn. And you might, some of you guys, I have, I know I, I should go further, but I can't go further before I clear this. Some of you might feel that you can't do no more. But you can. You are at the end here. Something has come to the end. And intuition here is coming to help you. To really help you to enhance 
your strengths in yourself. And not to giving in, not to giving your power away. Because maybe initially you have given your power away. No more. You can literally say out loud, I call my energy back. I call my spirit back. I'm taking charge of my life right here, right now. And so it is. And just like that. And make decisions. Sometimes you say, oh, I don't know. Make a decision. Right or wrong, just make a decision. And be in charge. Not negatively, not aggressively, but confidently. And let the, your intuition guide you. Right? Oh, someone's collapsing. Okay. Oh, I'm not surprised to see two kings. I'm not surprised to see another king. I can't see what's going on here. I haven't put in pause. I haven't looked. And you can see what's going on here. This is going to be like reading like another burger. I'm, I'm actually... Oh, I just have goosebumps around me. This is so weird and crazy, but that's what I love about tarot. It's so unpredictable. I do. That's why I do live. There is no stops unless my doorbell rings and a postman's coming. King of Swords is here. There is someone, and I, I don't. It might be a person, but it feels that there is three kings at present. There is some sort of higher force fighting for you. There is something. It's. It's a. And you know what it feels like? There's something going around you where you're going to say this event, my life, before this event and after. That's how it feels so important. And with King of Pentacles, it's kind of like the practicality. There is going to be ideas or, or support how if you need to move away from toxic relationship or toxic workplace or toxic living area, you're going to get ways out. There will be some, I don't maybe ask for help. And do not be, do not let the ego drive you and say, oh, I, I can't ask for help. Please ask for help. If you need to get out for time being, it's a safety comes first, okay? And you will get the answers how to do it. Temporarily, doesn't matter. Just, you need to break that, the same or same, or you need to break that old away. King of Swords, it feels like there's some, at a consultant or um, psychologist or lawyer, there is something going on, guys. Really, oh, this is this is makes me really weird sensations in my body. To be honest, let's have a look. Very good. Beginning of the month, two of pentacles, just there. there. Options. Mm -hmm. And do you know what it is? I'm gonna. T I'm, I'm. I'm gonna. Two of, two of pentacles is the man who stands there with the world in his hand. And it's similar as an emperor. Emperor is in charge. And you need to be in charge again. You need to be back in charge of your life, of your world. However significant you might think it is or isn't. Your world, you yourself matter a lot. Do not talk yourself down. And make the right choices. You know what, you know what is good or bad, right? You do know that, right? There is no question about that. Oh, Jesus. The cards are jumping. Okay. Imagination. Work. Look, I think you've been vulnerable for, for maybe some time. And it's good to be vulnerable in a way. But what this card is more saying is your imagination. Thinking outside the box a little bit. And making sure that you are doing this for your benefit, for your highest good and your safety comes first you will find a way right oh gosh nine of one's a death card okay it's an interesting one because at the beginning of the month we had the full moon leo right it kind of really highlighted and really sparked a lot of emotions fire events and right in the middle we have the mercury in aquarius which is very kind of like fact finding and sometimes it come across a little bit unemotional right and you can sometimes be very analytic in ways but this is talking about pursuing your dreams it's not talking about quitting before before the achievement but really seeing what is worth your input versus reward either this is relationship work 
doesn't matter anything. I mean, the death card, death card is positive. That's what you want to see. It's coming out of that darkness. And I can see there's um, an angel card. I have one of the cards is where the horse is coming from the darkness into the light. And that's how I feel here. You're coming from the dark and there's a sunrise coming. There's a new day coming to you. Different. Definitely different. Like no other. You don't want it the same or same. You want to change changes. And you, my lovelies, you got to change as well. Really reevaluate and be prepared that um, some of the relationships might go. And the friends that you thought the friends are no friends at all. Six of Wands, success. And this is, my lovelies, your personal development success. This here is not about making money or stuff, but this is yours coming out of coming out of the trouble, coming out of overcoming fears, overcoming um, um, confidence issues. And you might have felt that you've been hanging there for a long time. No more. Don't hang on. No. Don't hang with someone who is toxic. Don't hang in place that is really not good for you. Just because you are maybe unsure how that's going to change in your life. Change is here. It's happening. Right. Justice and Ace Wands. Gosh. Ooh. Okay. We have strong lawyer presence here. Either law enforcement, either you're working in yourself in law enforcement, and, and maybe you're dealing with stuff and you're seeing stuff that you would not want to see and you would like to unsee. Can't happen. <laughs> right? And that's not funny, but it can't for happening. It's kind of really like, whoa, this is not what I sign up for. But for some of you, you might be coming away from. A uh, messy uh, relationship where you're trying to deal with um, um, who's belongs to what and where the children's going to stay, blah, blah, blah. Could be even divorce or whatever. It feels that there is the balance needed here and really kind of um, support from professional services might be needed. However, I like to say this end of the at the very end, at the very, very end with the new moon in Pisces. There's a magic happening. Virgo, there's a magic happening. You finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. And here's the light. It's the sunrise. That's a sunrise because life is going on. Look at the waterfall. That's the life going. It's the energy that's flowing. The energy was stuck before and it has started to move. And it's shifting. Oh, it's shifting indeed. Okay, let's have a look. Virgo, if this resonates, press the like button, of course, subscribe. Oh, wow, this is serious conversation we're having here. Okay, four of ones, reward. Guys, this is, you are on the right path. And it feels like you are being knocking. And you know what, the typical kind of tarot is where the two people are running towards the four of ones, which looks like uh, either door or alleyway or something. And it feels like you're going to be knocking on the right doors. You're going to be knocking on the right doors. Mm -hmm. Just like that. You might actually get hear the knocks. <laughs> you might actually hear the knocks. Knight to sword. Drama. Knight to sword is someone who is very protective. And I feel this here. That you might have some, not as much drama, but really trying to protect your body, mind and spirit from... Something or someone trying to sabotage you or coming back into your life where you are trying to build something new. And they could be still around energies that they want to um, affect you and yours. And hence the Knight of Swords having that sword ready to cut all the cords that is no needed. Where are we going? We're going here. Oh, okay. Okay, so your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. And for some of you, I hope not. But for some of you may have lost a child or children. And it's just a message saying um, they're fine. They're fine. And it's kind of like, it's kind of saying to you that you are a child of God. So. And God looks always after their children. 
all of them. And you deserve love unconditionally. Here we go. Whew. What a month. All right, my lovelies. I'm sending you love and light. You will need that. And thanks so much for being here. Let's subscribe and like and comment. And I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da.